hi so in this video I will show how we can install RPM Forge repository and install FFmpeg on CentOS uh, we have to enable RPM Forge repository and for that we will go to uh, this URL and there we will find the CentOS RPM Forge for our operating system mine is CentOS 5 so I'll click on it and then we will select uh, the architecture uh, mine is i386 so I'll click on it and save it on the hard disk once we have on our system I will simply go to terminal and go to desktop where I have saved the RPM and install it for installing I will execute RPM space IVH and cut and paste the name of the RPM file uh, this is how you install the RPM for the RPM folder. once you have this activated after that all you need to do is issue yum install ffmpeg and it will install ffmpeg on your system I have it installed already on my system so I will show you just an example okay I have it installed on my system so once you see this message that it has been installed all you need to do is um, you can simply use the FF, FFmpeg um, through command line to perform tasks or there is a very good way if you are if you are planning to use GUI there is a front-end GUI to use with um, FFmpeg if you want to install the GUI you can simply go to this website which is winff.org and go to downloads and select your operating system mine is uh, i386 red hat actually mine is centos uh, red hat uh, rpm will work because the core is similar same i'll click on it and same way i will save it on my desktop you can s save wherever you want or wherever you prefer uh, I have it on my desktop so I won't be saving it again so I will go to my desktop actually I'm already there so I will simply go to um, find the RPM and then use the same command and this way it will install again I have it installed already so I won't be installing it so once you have it installed on your system then you can find the the program in your menu and you can go to sound and video and here you will find WinFF you just click on it and it will give, give you GUI with FFmpeg then you can play, clear, remove, add, convert and there are many other options right here you can select the file then output, folder, etc. so this is how we install FFmpeg on CentOS and then install GUI to work with it thank you